Hi guys, this is Duncan from Dunksword.com with a video review of VH Multi Camera Studio. In my last video I was talking about Webcam Max and how much I like this picture and picture feature and I was actually recommended this program by Angerblade in the Dunks Web chat and this takes picture and picture to a whole new level. So I'm just going to show you how it works. Very simple, go to file and you can add something. Camera, file, bitmap and URL. I'm just going to add a camera and it's going to be my webcam. So we'll just add it in and initialize it and hello you can see me now this actually acts as a video device if you're streaming out to things like ustream.tv or justin.tv you can use this in conjunction with something like adobe uh, flash media live encoder and then you can get the xml from the website simply put it into here this little area here or load the profile and it will just put all the details into here and you can stream it straight from your desktop so that's very cool stuff to do so you can now start doing dynamic stuff here if you know about people who are already streaming who are separating things up they've got like a chat somewhere they've got their feed somewhere they got a title somewhere you can do all that with this so again yes I can move this around I can resize it I can have it as much as I want I can right click and there's some advanced options here I can chroma key things in I can send this to oops I can have it send in it to the front or the back now I can add some extra things in if I go to camera and go to VH SCR cap this is the screen capture area so this is actually capturing uh, Far Firefox which is outside the screen capture so I can web Da, da, da. you can see it's actually performing pretty nicely so I can then resize this and then I can for example just sort of make it into like a dynamic screencast so then you now got my picture I could add someone else's uh, camera in if I wanted to for another screen capture and there we go we've got a dynamic live feed and it makes it much more interesting and much more interactive now you can see we also have presets here so I'm gonna go to P2 and you can see I've already got this set up but it's got a full screen capture of my webcam. Notice that it faded as it's doing that. You can do this through transitions. You go to view, transition, the first one you have is fade, you can buy some but there are some free ones also on the website. I like the wave one, that's pretty cool. Now you can go through the different resolutions here. It starts off at 88 by 60 which you can't see and goes all the way down to 4096 by 4096 that's quite a big resolution if you really want to do or mess with that then you can do so you can also change the frame rate frame rate if you need to so you can save this out as a preset now I must say this isn't um, that's, I tried this we streamed this last night and it didn't work perfectly it did quite nicely the quality was good through the media encoder but if you try and do more than one screen capture, which is what I wanted to do, I wanted to switch between things, I wanted, to, for example, to record Firefox and then record a virtual machine and switch to it through the presets, um, it actually crashed, and it crashed quite a lot, and I've been struggling to try and get this working, because I was considering doing a live stream with you guys, and... Yeah, it's, it's not something that's stable enough for me to be able to use for a stream, just plainly because it would crash and then that crashes the, the stream and then it's done. So if you're considering doing multiple webcam feeds, then it may be useful for you. Or if you just want to do something simple, just like one thing here and have something dynamic in there, then it's definitely a program worth checking out. This is VH Multi Camera Studio. There is also another program included with this called VH Capture, which you can use to record this area and that's quite useful if you want to do things like do it to YouTube but you notice that if you go to um, Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder you can actually save it to an FLV file anyway through that software so I'd recommend doing that instead so you can see it you can do both you can stream and you can save and then you can upload it so that's pretty much it this is VH Multi Camera Studio if I was to give this a rating I think it's the best free piece of software you can get for multi-camera effects with broadcasting but because it didn't work perfectly for me, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Brilliant for features, brilliant for what it does, but it didn't work stable enough for me to be able to use it on my live stream. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, please comment, rate, check out more reviews on Dunksweb, and thanks again.